What is going on world and welcome to another video where I respond to your YouTube comments. Now this video comes from a video I made about a year ago called Eating Animals to Reverse Climate Change. If you are interested in checking out this video, which I suggest you do because a lot of the talks and discussions we're going to be having right now and when I answer this YouTube comment, it is about that video and it helps to reinforce what I'm saying, what I'm stating here. So I really suggest going to check out that video. It'll pop up at the top of your screen right here. And you can also find it in the description box below. But let's just get right into it. So I can't even say this name here. Yogur no Bible. Yogur no Bible. He said, sorry, I didn't see all the video, but I have a question to ask. Why are the animals our slaves? I mean, they want to be free, live with their family. Some of them even have best friends. Is it because they are weaker? Women are weaker. And with time, we learned that they are not less. And we respect a woman as much as a man. And he said, sorry for the English, I am from Argentina. Now, before I hop into my comment here, I want to start off by saying right now what you are doing, you are anthropomorphizing, if I said that correctly. Basically, what you're doing is you are giving an object or an animal the same types of qualities, the same types of emotions and feelings as we humans feel. Now, this is something that we as humans, we love to do and we love to... Uh, imagine our ancient ancestors and we love we love to anthropom I can't even say this word anthropomorphize and we love to do this with animals you are saying here that um, animals want to be free they want to live with their family some of them want even have best friends animals live in the moment they are part of the now they are based off their instincts they don't have the ability to look at the past and then decide, I want to do something different today. They, are, they don't have the ability to look into the future and to be able to dictate and say, you know what, I'll meet you there in a week from now. So these are things that you have to consider when you are discussing and talking about animals. So let's get into my comment here now. So I said that we as human beings, we need to be stewards if we want to survive and thrive on this planet. And I left a little description there of what it means to be a steward and what stewardship means. So stewardship is an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. The concepts of stewardship can be applied to the environment and nature, economics, health, property, information, theology, etc. So I said right now, there is no responsible global planning being done. It's all for profit in industry and between countries rather than a unified global front. We are not considering how these factors in our everyday lives, how they amount when there are 7 billion of us living on this planet. The system of enslaving animals made it cheap to produce, allowing the previous generations to have the time, the money, and the leisure to focus on greater things like developing technology and communication. But now we have to analyze the previous system and ask, is this ethical? Is this the right way to be going about and doing this? In my opinion, and if you are new to my channel and you want to know about my opinion, it is all about hormonal optimization and healthy, nutritious foods that completely abolishing meat intake won't help to change anything. The same corporations and governments will take the same shortcuts to create a cheap, mass-produced, unhealthy food no matter what diet you switch to. The industry is fucked. It doesn't care about the animals or the people that they are feeding. They care about the money. We need to completely change the human condition because it's not about what we eat. It's about what we demand and what we put our money into. Now, I'm a server at a restaurant and I regularly have vegans as my customers. And they are just as neglectful to many other factors in life as people who eat meat. I see them order a glass of soda as well as a glass of water to not even touch the water or only have a sip of it, causing me to throw it out because it's no longer usable. I probably pour about five to six liters of water down the drain every single day just because of people's mindsets. Their demand is still supporting a restaurant that serves meat. 
So even if they choose not to eat the meat that's being sold there, it's still sitting in the back. And if you don't order it, once it's expired, it's going to get thrown out. It's this system of believing that all we have to do is go to a job every day, make our few little dollars, and then we can enjoy life. And we can do things like fly halfway across the world just to go to Walt Disney World. How about for family vacations? We take our families on hunting trips. We take them out into the wilderness and instill into our children having to work to get your food. And instead of just running to the grocery store two to three times a week, we take people to community vegetable gardens and chicken coops to acquire fresh foods. These are systems that are going to change the human condition. It's going to change people's mindsets and respect food because that is the issue right now. Right now, it doesn't matter what kind of diet or what kind of lifestyle, what you want to switch to because the governments out there, the corporations, they're taking the shortcuts that are making your food shitty, that is making my meat shitty. And one day, if everyone goes vegan, guess what? Your spinach is going to be shitty. It's going to be less quality because they're going to take the steps needed to make that stuff as cheap as possible so that the CEOs can make billions of dollars. That's the issue. It's the system. Our system is built on profit and greed. We need to give ourselves other incentives in this world rather than just money and the almighty dollar. Once we get past that and we have other incentives in the world where people can earn a living, they can get their food, they can get basic things that make them optimal like being able to see every day and not have to sit at a job for not, from nine to five every day just to get that money. So they can feel like, oh, I've done something worthy of my time and now I can go out and enjoy this world. That is the problem. It's our system. It's industry. So thank you so much, uh, Yogurt Need a Bible guy who left this uh, comment. Great comment, great question. Animals are our slaves right now. What we are doing, we are sticking them into factory farms rather than allowing them to graze and run free and wild within a, a 10 acre enclosure. This is going to help restore the land. And then they're not gonna be our slaves. We're gonna be living with them. If we are stewards of the land, rather than just trying to take advantage of every single situation, that is when things will change. That is when things will start to get better. That is when the environment will start to get better. But until then, until people have these kinds of mindsets in life, things are not gonna change. We need to change things from the start. We need to change the next generation and we need to make them think differently about their food, about their nutrition and how, and how they go about living and structuring their lives. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like what you saw here, if you found it a little informative, maybe you enjoyed watching me respond to this YouTube comment, then make sure you go hit that like button and leave a comment for me that maybe I'll answer in the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am the Hungarian Experiment.